advantage of left to right subtraction is that in many ways we can avoid carrying. And that's often a major confusing component of traditional, I guess, long subtraction. Um, and what I mean is, let's say we have a problem where it's like, um, let's say, 87 minus 29. Typically here we have to, to borrow from the tens and rewrite 7 as 17 and then go from there. But with this technique, what we can think of is, well, what's 87 minus 20? And then subtract 9 more. So in other words, you take this whole number, subtract the 20 out, and then subtract 9. And this is helpful because 87 minus 20 is just 67. Take 9 more away, and yes, now we're coming back to carrying, but can't we just mentally visualize this? Right? Think about 67 minus 9 as what? Well, 67 minus 7 minus 2, I'm just re-breaking a 9 up. So 67 minus 7 is just 60 and then take two more away to get 58, which is our answer, right? So again, all I did was to avoid carrying completely. I Here, we're 67 minus 9, even when I faced the small carry, which I could have done, to visualize this, this difference, I broke 9 up into 7 and 2. So this habit of, of breaking up numbers becomes helpful because we can avoid carrying. Now another way to, to do this is to write it right here. Well, what's What's 80 minus 20? That's just 60. What's 7 minus 9? Well, this is this is where actually I think the left to right subtraction, it, it's much better to, to rewrite it this way by, by taking the whole number of 87 and subtracting it, or another technique, which I'll show you in a moment. But here we can still do this, and this is an introduction related to the importance of negative numbers. Take 7, subtract 9, well, that's below 0. Right? Think about a number line. If we're here at 7 and we take 9 away, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, where does that land? Well, 7 hops down lands at 0. So 9 hops down lands all the way at negative 1, then negative 2. This number is negative 2. So 9 minus 7 is negative 2. We add these two up and we get 58. And that's something, I, I think, really for a focus of another video, but 60 plus negative 2, that's the same thing as 60 minus 2, which is 58. Now that's confusing, right? But here, notice we took all of 87 and it took 29 apart. Uh, we, we, we avoided this whole process. And there's even an easier way. One of my favorite ways to deal with subtraction is by taking the number and rounding it up. So instead of, I, I think the, the problem we have is 86 minus minus 20, 27, was it? Okay. No, that wasn't it. Because <laughs> I got 58. Let me go back. 87 minus 29. Okay. Sorry about that. So 87 minus 29. Do we have to do that? What else could we do? Well, one other thing we could do is to say, well, what's 87 minus 30? Which is really close to 29. And that's easy to see. Well, that's 57. But what do we do with this number? Well, we took too much away. We took 30 away. We only need to take 29 away, right? So in fact, because we took too much, we took one too much because 29 plus one is 30. Now our answer is too small. We took too much away. So add one back and that gives us 58. So in other words, instead of carrying, what you could do is take this bottom number and round it up or down and then add or subtract the amount you need to to balance the equation out. For example, what if I try 82 right, minus 37? Okay, well, what if I thought of this as 82 minus 40, which is really close to 37. In fact, 37 plus 3, right, that is 40. So 82 minus 40 is nice and easy. That's 42. But what's, what's the, what do we do now? Well, 40 is too large. We took too much away. We took three too much. Three more than we had to, right? So our answer is too small. So add three to 42 and get our real answer of 45. So another way of dealing with this left to right subtraction is to take the number you, you're subtracting and round it up or down depending. 
For example, what if we had, I'll show one last one. And this might not might be necessary, but I, I'm going to try to come up with an example that's helpful. What if I had, uh, let's try 81 minus 22. Okay, so 22, notice it's really close to 20. So I could think of this as 81 minus 20, right? And then I get 61. But what do we do with this? Well, 20 is really equal to 20 minus, excuse me, 22 minus 2. That is 20. So we didn't take enough away, right? We only took 20 away from 81. And we should have taken 22 away. So now it's 61. Just take two more away. I'll we'll split it up into 1 and 1. So I can avoid carrying all together. 61 minus 1 is 60. Oops. Minus another one is 59. And that was much better, I think, than trying to carry or deal with this in any other way. Here, then, let's try one more. What about 93 minus 64? Again, well, 64 is pretty close to 60, right? So we can think of this as 93 minus 60. That gives us 33. Now, we're not done yet. We didn't take enough away. Right, because 64 minus 4 is 60. So we didn't take enough. In fact, we have to take 4 more away. So we can take 33 minus 4, but again, that would require us to carry unless we think of 4 as 33 minus 3 and then take away another 1. So 33 minus 3 is just 30. Take away another 1 and we get our answer of 29. Alright, so we're just playing around with this idea. I hope it's helping.